Well, it's a gray day at Perdido Pass, and look at the waves. It turns out I got a fascinating photo last week from Tiffany Horton. Her cousin, Deborah Williams, in Coden captured this interesting picture on Coden Belt Road. It's something I've never seen before, a very unique pattern in the waves. I had to see it for myself, so I stopped by this weekend. Slow down and survey your environment. On a glance, there's nothing unusual here. Or is there? Look eastward across Portersville Bay, and it's just tiny waves. At my feet, you see seashells at the seashore. Coden, Alabama on a quiet summer day, just watching the waves, but look a little more closely. They're coming in from one direction on that side. From the other side, they're coming in from the other direction. Where they meet, they form a perfect grid. Those are called grid waves. Off of Coden Belt Road, it's all about the shape of the land beneath the water. That's called bathymetry. When you look farther out, you might notice what seems to be a sandbar going away from the coast. It's acting like a natural barrier to focus the wave movement. The waves arrive from two different directions in the shallow water at the sandbar. Of course, the waves are generated by wind, so that plays a role too. Stop and look and you might be amazed. It's simple symmetry. Sometimes you just have to get off the grid. Always something fascinating to see on our shoreline. Now, here's a live view at Perdido Pass, and you can see how the waves are kind of impacted by that jetty that sticks out there. So you just have to really stop and look. Now, it turns out around the world, if there's a big storm out in the ocean on a coast, it creates a similar grid, but it's much higher waves, and it's known as cross seas.